I got another topic for you guys, so listen up to what I'm about to say. And stay tuned. This is why this person wants you back. Now, I can't say who it is, because I don't fucking know that. But only you know that, as I'm saying this. You know what person I'm talking about. And that person that wants you back, only wants you back, not because they love you, not because they miss you. They love and miss what you brought to the table. They love and miss what you used to give them. They love and miss having you around for their own selfish gain. That's what they miss. They don't miss you. They don't care about you. They don't care about you as a person. They only care about themselves. And this is what they miss about you. This is why they want you back. They want you back because of the attention that you used to give them. They want you back because of the things you used to do for them before they discarded you and thought they were fucking cool by getting you up out of their life. Thought they were cool, didn't they? Guess who always comes back? These ungrateful little snots. All about themselves. And this is the only reason why they are crying their asses off back for you. Because they're self-centered. Because they want access again to what you gave them. How you made them feel. How you made them feel special, important, loved. You made them feel like this. You did. And this is why they want you back. Not because they love you. Because they don't got a fucking grip on their own self. Understand this. They don't know how to love. In fact, they don't even know how to be loved. Let alone loving somebody else. They can't even fucking be loved. They can't even accept your love because of something that happened to them in their life that caused them to be this way. They want it. They know they want it but they can never deal with it. They can never deal with it, bro. It's always gonna be too much for these people. And even if you come back to them and you start to give them what they want again, you know what they're gonna do? The same thing they've always done. Take it for granted. Shove it right back up your ass. They're gonna give you the boot again. And they're gonna leave you behind. Because it does not matter how good you are, it does not matter what you bring to them, nothing is good enough for them. Nothing is good enough for them. It doesn't matter. Understand this. They need a hospital, is what they need. They need a hospital. They don't need me, they don't need you, they need a hospital. They need some serious help. They don't know what they want. They're gonna go from person to person to person. They're gonna do every fucking thing you can think of. They're gonna do everything besides work on themselves in here and in here. That's what they're gonna do. They don't wanna face that noise. You know why? Cause that takes work. Cause that's hard stuff. They don't wanna do that, do that. They don't wanna sign up for that. They want the easy way out always. Always. 
So the best thing we can do to these people is not even acknowledge them. Because the only thing they're going to do is take from you and then leave your ass behind and hurt you. But they can only hurt you if you let them hurt you. They can only hurt you if you don't have knowledge. If you have knowledge, they can't do shit to you, pal. They can't do shit to you if you have the knowledge. Because you see them for what they are. There's nothing that you don't know about. Even if they did do it, so let's say you did go back to them. Even if they did do it, you know why they did it. It does not affect you like it would if you didn't know why. If you didn't know why they did it and they did it, you might just lose yourself. You might just lose your shit. You might lose all your self-esteem. And you know what? This fucking happened to me, bro, when I was younger because I didn't know why. Now I know why. This shit has no effect over me. I'm going to lose an ounce of sleep if some shit like this ever happened to me again. Which it won't, because I'm, I'm just too knowledgeable. I'll not put myself in a position for this to happen, because I'm going to know a person inside out before I ever give my heart away to anybody else. I'm going to know them like the back of my hand. And it's what you should do in every friendship and relationship. And even holding on to family members because family members can also be toxic. Just because they're your family doesn't really mean shit. It should be the person that you're looking at. What is this person like? I don't give a fuck what your name is, buddy. I don't give a fuck where you came from. I don't give a fuck if we're blood brothers. I don't give a fuck if we have any blood relation at all. I don't care if we used to be friends or not. Who are you right now? Right now is what matters. Who are you right now? That's it. Even your parents, bro. If they're toxic in your life, fuck them. They're only going to fuck up your life. That's the only thing they're going to do. Parents, family, friends, relationships. Look at all these things for what they are. Is this person healthy? Do these people have good head on their shoulders? Are they caring? Do they have empathy? Look for these things. Good people are the only people you should have in your life. Good people or no people. That's the only way it should be. I have a tight circle. I only have good people with good intentions in my life. That's it. Nobody gets out. Nobody gets in. Unless you go through the process. The process is getting to know each other. We're on good terms. I trust you. You trust me. We're good to go. But trust is not given, it's earned. We gotta earn this shit. That's how it is. I'm not just friends with fucking everybody. Like how it used to be, like in school or something like that. I'm still not an ignorant person. I'll still respect everybody, but as far as trust, as far as me giving you my all, that shit gotta be earned. That shit gotta be earned. And that's all there is to that. I'm going to end this video here. Remember everything I said in this topic. Keeping this short and sweet. And I'll be back with some more videos tomorrow, guys. Until next time, I am out.